This is the new OrCam Read. It's one of the newest devices from OrCam that allows the blind and visually impaired the ability to access printed material. And then I'm just going to click the trigger button. Paprika cheesy. Wait. Paprika? Chili power. A blend of chili pepper and spot. Chili powder. Okay. I think you could probably guess what I'm gonna say, but I am loving this little thing here. <laughs> This is the brand new OrCam Read. It's the newest hardware brought to us by OrCam. OrCam, if you are not familiar, makes devices that you can use to access printed material. These devices are used by anyone with some sort of reading impairment, whether that is a visual impairment, cognitive impairment, maybe dyslexia. Anybody who needs a little help reading printed material, they can use OrCam. Well, OrCam just came out with this new piece of hardware, the OrCam Read. I'm excited to talk about it with you guys today. Before we do that though, a huge thank you to OrCam for sending this little guy out to me for this video. If at the end of the video you would like more information, I will of course have all the contact details in the description box down below. So first, let's take a look at what comes in the box. Then we'll do an overview of the OrCam device and I'll give some demonstrations of how it works. As always, at the end of the video, we'll come back and I will give you my opinion of the OrCam Read. The OrCam Read comes in a very nice, high quality box. Inside the box, you have a little section here with information in it. Then you have the OrCam Read device itself. Below that, you have a microfiber cleaning cloth. We have a charging plug. Then in this little box here, we have the USB Type-C charging cable, a set of earbuds, and a lanyard. Okay, let's take a quick tour around the OrCam Read device itself. I saw another person here on YouTube refer to it as a black magic marker. And that's very accurate. The size is about the same size as one of those old school thick black magic markers. The camera is at one end and we're from here on out we're going to call that the front. <laughs> so the front is nice and flat whereas the back is rounded so it's very easy to tell them apart. The front has a camera and an LED flashlight. Then we've got four physical buttons along the top side. And this is one of the things I love about the device is there's no touch pads. Touch pads are great, but also not so much when you accidentally touch it and trigger something. So all the buttons on here are physical. They're also shaped differently and very tactile. So starting from the front, working our way back, we have the trigger button, which is just a round button. This is what you would press to take a picture. This is also how you access the voice commands. Just behind that, you have a plus shaped button and a minus shaped button. And the main goal of these is to turn up and turn down the volume. Then the last button towards the end is a long skinny button and that is the power button. If the device is turned on and you press that button, it will put it to sleep. Continuing along the back side, you have this little latch that kind of pops out. It stays tucked away when you don't need it and pops out when you do. And this is for your lanyard. And then finally, down around the back end here, you have a port for the headphones. As I mentioned, you get headphones in the box. This also has Bluetooth, so you can connect it to a Bluetooth audio device. And that is it guys. That is all the buttons and everything for the device. Super easy to use. That's definitely one of, the, one of the standout features of this is the ease of use. Oh wait, I forgot the charging port. It's a USB Type-C charging port, so it doesn't matter which way you plug the cable in, it's gonna work either way. Battery life lasts a pretty long time, especially if you put it to sleep when you're not using it. And every time it wakes up or you turn it on, it announces how much battery power you have left. Now, who is this ideally for? As I said before, it's for anyone with any kind of reading impairment. I decided to come out with the OrCam Read because some users just wanted a quick and easy way to snap a picture of something and have it read out loud to them. And that's really the key to this device is convenience. And regarding people in the visually impaired community, this is going to be perfect for all levels of vision impairment. You don't have to have any vision to use this. Now there is one mode that it helps if you have a little bit of vision, 
but it's not a deal breaker. You can still use that mode even if you don't have any vision. The basic OrCam read has two modes. You've got a full page scanning mode and the laser pointer mode. Uh, at least that's what I call it, a laser pointer, because that's what it reminds me of. The full page scanning mode is just that. It'll take a picture of an entire page of document or a sign and reads out top to bottom. The laser pointer mode is a little more refined. You can point it at a certain section of text and it will only read out that section. So for example, you're reading a newspaper and you only want to read this one article, you can just point it at that and have it just read that. So let me show you real quick exactly what I mean. So here I have a part of a newsletter that I received in the mail. I want to go ahead and scan this and see what it says. It's very easy to use the OrCam read. I like to hold it like a pen or a pencil. When you hold it this way, your index finger naturally falls right on the trigger button. Another great point about this is that it's ambidextrous. So lefties are gonna be able to use this just as easily as the righties. So I just wanna hold the device about a foot away from the paper, perpendicular to the paper. I'm going to try and get my thumbs out of the way so I'm not blocking any text. And then I'm just going to click the trigger button. Total monetary assets keep decreasing. You will note an increase in office expenses. This was due to the increased mailing sent throughout the fiscal year. I. Okay, sounds like a financial report there. <laughs> But one thing I want to point out is that it snaps a picture and then very quickly comes back with the OCR results. Something else I'll point out is that when you click the trigger button, a laser pointer comes out. One way to tell if you're in the full page mode is there's a square laser box that is displayed. Now to get into the laser pointer mode, you just want to click the volume up and volume down button at the same time and we are in laser pointer mode. So now on this piece of paper here, I have paragraphs. And so maybe I only wanna read this middle paragraph here. I don't care about any of this text up at the top. I just wanna read the middle paragraph. So I'm going to point that laser pointer right at that paragraph. Something new for your information. The Beilerberg Rehab Center has a unique program that may be of interest to you. Def Click the trigger button to stop the reading, stop the playback, and it got it. It got it perfectly. That's exactly where that paragraph starts. Something interesting for you. We also have some controls while it's reading. Financial report. The fiscal year ended on... So I double clicked the trigger button and you hear it beeping. That's because I paused the playback. If I double click the trigger button again, it will start playing again. On June 30th, there you go. If I click the plus, it jumps to the next sentence. If I click the minus, it jumps to the previous sentence. And then once again, clicking the trigger button once stops playback. The OrCam read also has some customizable options, so you can adjust some settings like the volume, as I showed before, but you can also adjust the speaking rate. And a lot of these settings can be changed with your voice, with voice commands. Speed up rate. So now she's reading a lot faster. Another one of the features that you can get with the OrCam read is OrCam's new smart reading. This is a revolutionary, really impressive text-to-speech OCR feature that I'm really excited about and I've just had a, a blast playing around with. This basically uses AI, artificial intelligence technology, and allows you to interact with the reading. So, for example, we're gonna use our same page here, but this is gonna work great on like newspapers, bills, bank statements, menus, anything that has specific information that you need to find. Smart reading. Ready. Read everything. Financial report. The fiscal year ended on June 30th. 
2020, the completed act. Read dates. Found one date. The fiscal year ended on June 30th, 2020. Start from rehab. The Biloxi Blind Rehab Center has a unique program that may be of interest to you. Exit. Exiting. So that's smart reading. And what's great is, and, and as you notice when I said start from rehab, it doesn't just start from that word. It takes the entire sentence into context and starts from the sentence that that word is located in. Um, and that's true for the amounts as well. So if I said, if I was looking at a bank statement, for example, and I said read amounts, it's not just going to read the amount, it's gonna read whatever is associated with the amount as well. So you get all that important information. So smart reading is really, really cool service and you can get it on the OrCam read and you can get it on some of the other OrCam devices. Now I wanted to give you guys a couple more examples of the OrCam read in action. So I went out this morning downtown, walked around downtown and tried to put it to the test in the wild and here's what happened. We cannot control COVID-19. All we can control is our actions and how we treat others. Please be kind. Now, I know it's really hard to hear, guys, and in hindsight, I should have had a microphone closer to the OrCam read while I was doing these tests. But I'll go ahead and let you know that every single one, it got it. It read out every single sign. It even got this church sign, and you see how far away I am from this sign, and it read it no problem. Okay, here's a test. I'm going to see if I can read the sign across the street. Shop local Kentucky. It didn't read the big white sign, uh, maybe because it's painted, it's faded, it's got some strange types of uh, text, but it read that marquee right over there. Awesome. Now, I didn't realize at the time that it actually did read that large white sign, or at least it read the bottom section, the bottom section that says established 17 something or other. It actually read that part out loud, but at the time I couldn't see the sign, so I didn't realize. Okay guys, so I wanted to real quickly, while everything is fresh, I wanted to give you my thoughts. And I am constantly blown away by how well this works. I'm the type of user that I see there's a sign there, I can see the sign, I just can't read the sign. Um, and street signs, that's, a, that's especially hard for me because they're oftentimes up high. So just being able to pull this out, snap a quick picture, listen to what it says, it worked every single time fantastic i was constantly surprised i really didn't think it was going to get the street sign the street sign was about uh 15 feet up in the air got it no problem not only was the street sign pretty high but you know it's backlit by the sky so it was probably very dark but it had no problem it read it perfectly it even read the handwritten sign on the window of the shop now granted it was very very nice writing handwriting uh, it wasn't sloppy at all pretty legible but still ocr devices usually struggle with handwriting and the orcam got it no problem i didn't even know those shops were down there you know i, I set out just to kind of go out snap a couple pictures of signs just to show how well it works but i gotta say it was very enjoyable just walking downtown walking down the street downtown and 
seeing what types of shops were around. That's something that I never get to do unless I'm walking with someone and they're reading out signs to me. And whereas that I, I enjoy doing that, spending time with somebody, but there's something to be said about just walking down by myself and independently reading those signs, finding out what kind of cool little eclectic shops are downtown. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this outing, so big thanks to the Orcam Reed. All right, I thought we would just walk around the house and scan a couple items, see how this works. And I thought the perfect place to start would be the spice rack. You guys might remember my method for labeling all my spice containers, but with the Orcam Reed, it's not a problem anymore because I can just pull one out Snap a picture. Oko nutmeg ground. Use as a topping for eggnog, custards, whipped cream. That was nutmeg. Okay, let's see what another one is. Paprika cheesy. Nut weight. Paprika? What about a round container? Essentials, garlic salt, coarse There it is, garlic salt. So sometimes you might have to take a couple pictures here, but it gets it every time. Let's see this one. Chili power, a blend of chili pepper and spice. Chili powder, okay. How about something like this? Special, made with real almonds, vanilla and almond. Okay, it didn't get the giant K, but it said everything else, and that's good enough to figure out what it is. Our butter, fresh, stead peanuts. Peanut butter. All right. Okay, guys, so time for the final thoughts, in my opinion, of the Orcam read. I think you could probably guess what I'm going to say, but I am loving this little thing here. <laughs> I am just blown away, guys. I've always been impressed with OrCam, and in fact, I'm gonna go on record and say I think they have the best OCR in the game right now. Um, it's fast, it's reliable, it's accurate. It doesn't have to be connected to uh, internet. Did I mention this is all offline OCR? As you saw in that video, I was walking around downtown and it worked great. You can connect this to Wi-Fi. In fact, I did that to get an update, but it doesn't need internet access to perform, to work. So someone like me, um, I rely mainly on magnification. If I need to see something, I wanna be able to enlarge it and see it. Um, it's only rare occasions that I need to have something read out loud to me. And it's those occasions that this would be the perfect solution for. Like I said before, so convenient. I could just have this, pull it out of my pocket, or have it hanging on the lanyard around my neck. Click, scan, within a few seconds I'm listening to it. I get the information and then I can carry on with my day. And that's something else I'll mention about um, OCR devices. I've used them all. I've tested all of them, practically, and I have a realistic expectation of OCR devices. None of them are perfect. None of them are going to scan something every single time and come back with a perfect result. So I give a little bit of lenience when it comes to OCR devices. So, you know, if it misreads something here or spells out a word there, that's fine with me. I totally understand. I'm looking for enough accuracy that I can follow what it's saying. I'm not looking for perfection. And I think this guy and OrCam in general come the closest to perfection. So do I recommend OrCam? Bottom line, yes, I do. If this is something that you think you could use, it's a tool that you could put into your toolbox and it would help solve a problem, I do recommend it. But of course, you always gotta consider budget. Now, what is the pricing? So the basic pricing for the OrCam Read is right around $1,900. And I say the basic because OrCam has um, started to, or, is, or soon will be starting, a new pricing plan that they're calling the OrCam Mix. What it is and how it got started was OrCam, uh, doing a lot of research and market research and all that, and talking with their customers, they realized that a lot of their customers, they were buying their products and only using a fraction of the features. So OrCam said, that's not fair, that's not how we wanna work with our customers. So they came up with this new pricing program where you pay for what you want. You basically mix, get it, OrCam mix, you mix and match 
the features that you want with the device that you want and you pay for what you get. So I can't exactly tell you how much the read is going to be because it depends on what features you get added into it. Features like the smart reading. What I recommend and what OrCam actually recommends is you reach out to their sales team, talk with them, and they will be able to help find out how much it's going to be based on what you want. And as I said at the beginning, all that contact information will be in the description down below. So that is it, guys. That is the Blind Life review of... Get it in frame. There we go. Blind Life review of the OrCam read. <laughs> If you guys like this video, please hit the like button, share it with all your friends, family and friends, social media. Also, if you found this information useful, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications because I put out a new video every single Saturday. Another big thank you to OrCam and a big thank you to you guys. Sam with The Blind Life, I'll see you next time.